All I can say is everybody in this room loves you, respects you, and thanks you for all the great music that you have given us over the years. And I, I'm talking about a kid that just someday wanted to meet you. And you've become my friend. And you and Sharon are just two of my favorite people in the whole wide world. And let me know where you got that shirt, by the way. <laughs> Would you welcome the legendary Dallas Clayton. Okay, uh, before we get started, uh, of course, uh, everybody's just thrilled to be here at Dallas's uh, tribute, but uh, we want to call Bert uh, back up here. Where's, where's Bert? He's got a, a special presentation for yes. Dallas. I knew I needed my southern accent, but I forgot to pack it. Still in Connecticut. <laughs> but Dallas, tonight, today, you had all these artists singing your songs, and that's the way it should be. This is a not only a tribute to your songs, but to the man who wrote those songs, and music would not be where it is today if it wasn't for your songs. And we really appreciate what you've done for the music industry. Everybody appreciates it. Not just me, and I love playing your stuff, but we did something for you, which I don't usually do, but because you're Dallas Fraser, I did this especially for you. Okay. All right. Now I took, I took an yeah. older picture of you. Okay. That's a young man there. The reason, the reason I went young, the reason, the reason I went young is because Alley Oop was my first Dallas Frazier song that I wow. remember, five years old, and I tried to recreate an Alley Oop figure. So I took my blackboard <laughs> and my chalk cigarettes and I started drawing out a figure, and it came out to be a bully with a big grin and mischievous eyes. Okay. I searched the internet and I found that uh, that's the bully that it's <laughs> not really a bully because Ali was not a bully, he was a prankster. He wanted to have some fun and that's what it is. Yeah, well thank you. Well, Bert, you thank did you a so beautiful much. job. Yeah, you did. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Could you, know, you move uh, the mic out of I want to just mention something uh, right quick. That, uh, Thank you. You mentioned that uh, Alley Hoop, you heard it when you were five years old. And, uh, and I mentioned earlier that it was probably my biggest hit. And uh, I need to clarify that just a little bit. Uh, it was the biggest uh, overnight sensation, so to speak. It didn't have a, a lot of longevity. It ooped out pretty quick, <laughs> but but it was uh, it was just uh, around the world, you know. It was just uh, it was a monster, and like three weeks after it was released, it was probably number one in five weeks or so. I don't I don't know. I don't remember the exact detail, but uh, uh, it kind of got me started, you know. And uh, Sharon and I had just married. We married in '58. We've been married 56 years. <laughs> A lot of folks have been here tonight could have been our kids. Oh. I'm glad you're not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, She's still uh, hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to do a couple of songs. Uh, I'm going to do There Goes My Everything. And that's my uh, my most successful all-time copyright. Uh, I couldn't even begin to to tell you how many people's recorded it and uh, and also Elvira which is probably one of the, one of the Tennessee state songs uh, but uh, I'm, I'm so I'm so grateful for my career and I won't belabor this but I want to say that my career depended on a lot of people just like y'all like Keith and people here that have cut songs and people that mentored me growing up as songwriters producers and I had a lot of help. I had a lot of help. And if you make it in this business, you will have a lot of help. 
or you probably won't make it. Yeah. And uh, so I am grateful for that. I'm grateful for the, the, the ones who gave me a helping hand and, and uh, took me uh, along their side, so to speak, and said, Dallas, this is the way we do it, you know. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really grateful for, for all of you, and especially those of you that are here tonight. Uh, I thank you. I thank you for coming and participating. Uh, in this tribute. This is no small matter to me. This is really neat. I like it. <laughs> After a swig, I'm going to go for it. There goes my everything. I hear footsteps slowly walking as they gently walk across the lonely floor, and a voice is softly saying, "Darling, this." We'll be goodbye forevermore. There goes my reason for living. There goes the one of my dreams. six or seven maybe, uh, Judy, uh, it was mentioned that you were a voice coach, and and I thought, I wonder if a voice coach would help me, you know, I was about, I'm 75 now, but I was about, that's 69 or so, somewhere in there, and I got up my nerve, and, and uh, pardon me, I cannot think of this guy's name, I know you would know him, he's over in Brentwood someplace, and he's called the vocal coach. And, Chris, maybe? Yes. Yes, yeah. and Carol. Yeah, Carol. yeah. Okay, I went over there, and you know what? I was just amazed at what he could do. Uh, hey, you guys out there, if you want a better throat, if you want to get more mileage out of your tonsils, as they say, <laughs> go to a vocal coach. They'll teach you how to warm up and, and do things right. 